Well, hello there, my fellow witches, warlocks, and mortals. It is I, Wonder Pig, and, and I'm back on another YouTube video. So today, guys, I am showing you my book tour. So if you don't know who I am, hello, I'm Wonder Pagan, aka Jasmine. I'm a practicing pagan, eclectic witch. So yeah, I do everything witchcraft content, paganism, and Wiccan, and also teaching others. And I'm gonna slowly come to do a teaching series of witchcraft and then paganism and then Wiccan. And you can learn and then you can teach yourself and also I can teach you as well during that journey and not just that guys and I don't do this a lot for this but I thought you know what I'm gonna do on YouTube because my fans might like this I am doing teaching on YouTube to teach baby witches and who are wanting to start out and if they're like hmm I might be a baby witch I need someone on YouTube to teach me and I will be that person if you want me to guys so before we start can you feel free to put the like button and also if you're new hello and don't forget to click the subscribe button as well I will hopefully post videos every Tuesday and Saturdays all being well so yeah guys let's go to the video show we've got magical books to show you and I can't wait to show you guys my collection I have been classed as a hoarder, so yeah, let's go. Win. these two books are my big book my big books what I have so far so my first one I will show you is this one which is the element Expedia 500 I think it is um spells so if you want any spell work I will help you with all that I have been reading a little bit and I am thinking about doing stuff like this on TikTok so if you want to see me do like spell every tuesday or every saturday on tiktok on live or just a video just a video what i won't mind that and if you want me to do a spell of the day again let me know in the comments and what is your favorite spell because my favorite spell is self negative spell so that helped me with my negative energy and so yeah that's my first book i have and i got that from the works and that cost me 35 pound ouch mm. so my second big book is the history of magic of witchcraft and occult so this is um like a bronze orange copper foiling and this teaches you everything about like history of the magic so if i just show you some pages like i think that one's about tarot cards it's like tarot cards like art so it reminds me of tarot cards but yeah um i thought i purchased this because i want to teach this at school so i thought this would be a good part of collection and teach history as well of magic so them are my two big books i have from my collection and now i will open my magical cupboard what has my magical box which i will show you so yeah guys i will show you my my books what i have now so this one here is the um hector of witchcraft and I got this given from a work colleague and it has like rituals in it, fairy gods in it inside and it's got like beautiful pictures such as this little beautiful crow so I got this given and I absolutely love it it's got like magical runes, symbols in it and I do recommend this, I do completely and like i said i'm going to start teaching on youtube so all these books will be like a good referencing 
Um, so yeah, I got this given and I absolutely love it and anyone who wants to read it, I do recommend it. So that's my first book from my cupboard. So my second book I have is The House Witch and this comes in the three sets. Um, so this is the third one I think it is, so this is my The House Witch book um, It gives you instructions like what should you do in your home, if you're a kitchen witch So in, if you're a kitchen witch I do recommend this for you guys So yeah and it's alright, I will, I will say I've hardly read this but um, it mentions like about me like green witch and kitchen witch and cottage witch and this so yeah so i might be not keeping this i don't know yet should i keep it i don't know but yeah um what's your craft as you all know i'm a collective so what's your craft let me know in the comments so yeah that's that one so this one i got from the works and it's um spells of peace and mind this cost me about i think i think about 10 pound to five pound it went down in the sale at the works but if you want me to do a spell of the day i will do it on youtube and tiktok if you want and that's like merely spell work this is so i will try and find a page to show you um Oh, here's one. Um, so like this one is like a blend of lemon and lavender. So there's a blend of that of essential oils. Spoiler, I can't have essential oils. I'm allergic. <laughs> but yeah, it's got like information about what's good for you and herbals and crystals. So it even mentions about the chakras guys as well. So that's good as well. I do recommend this one properly though if you are starting out more. So I do recommend this and I do not like pink but when I saw this I thought you know what I, sh I struggle with stress, worry and anxiety so I thought why not purchase this so that's that. My next book I have I got given from my brother which I love him so much for this and you can see I have been reading this and I have been making notes for my book of shadows so this is the Wiccan and Everyday Living book so like I said I got this given from my brother and I full on recommend this book I full on recommend this book the reason why I recommend this book guys it's because it mentions about religion holidays mentions about how to open a cast circle about hand fastening like seminaries Seminaries. Seminary. Can't get my words out today, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it mentions like holidays, like such as Yule and what it represents, and like herbal laundries and colour of candle working. I full on recommend this book for beginners. Like, the books, what I recommend for beginners, I will leave in the description below if you want me to, guys. Let me know if you want me to put in the description or in the comments so yeah um i full on recommend this book i love it so much and you can just tell i love note taking <laughs> so that's that book so for my other fourth book i think it's fourth or fifth um and this is called inner magic the guide to modern witchcraft so in case you're not into like the paganism or in case you're not into wiccan this is just mainly about the craft if you are interested in the craft if you don't want to follow the religion beliefs just the craft i do recommend this which i have been reading and it breaks it down like there's a big expand then it breaks it down big expand breaks it down which it mentions about like holidays as well then it mentions like the days of the wheel like for example sundays for success so tuesday today um, it's there for protection so like for example I could do like I could do that on YouTube if you want me to do like um, days of the week of a witch and then I'll follow this if you want me to guys let me know in the comments um, so yeah I do recommend this I got this from the works this cost me £10 so yeah and I think they don't do this one anymore but you never know it might be on Amazon but yeah there you are 
So this book here I got from Waterstones. I got this from Waterstones. So um, this breaks it down even more for you. And not just that, it tells you about like familiars. It tells you about animals and crystals. And I have hardly read this, but it, it, it explains like the crystals, the incense, like um, for example, if I find like garlic it keeps away bad vibes so like that i could do like a factor a day if you want me to let me know guys i will do what you know what's good so like i said if you are into like white witch stuff this is a guide to white witches which i am as well so yeah i just love it it's so lovely the green and you can tell if you can't tell this is green um but yeah so my theme is the nature colours, so there you are, so that's that book. So this one is Herbal Remedies, this was my best purchase ever. So Herbal Remedies, you might not know this guys. I am into Herbal Remedies since a young age, I do not like tablets, I do not recommend tablets um, at all. But if you need it to help you then feel free but herbal remedies i can you not i love stuff like this because i always do this a lot i do follow herbal remedies a lot and like i said if you're a green witch kitchen witch cottage witch i do recommend this full on i do recommend this i full on do and it will worth five pound from the works i full on recommended it recommend it i recommend it sorry but yeah it's like i used to what use um a vera gel and then ever since that i got vera soap i got the actual vera plan and i kept it downstairs when i was cooking in case i burned myself i just like yeah put it on me and i fully recommend this guys like it's good for like teas and like i said about the mirror thing it's so good if case you're into the, like the kitchen witch cottage witch or the green witch so i do recommend this full on so for my other book i have i got this from a subscription box so this is the arts of divination from debbie and this came into my one of my caskets if you don't know i do unboxing witch caskets every month i'm still waiting for the witches moon to come back contact me back because the woman to send me a subscription box for, for free to view it for you guys I'm still waiting for that hasn't turned up yet but when it does i will let you guys know and then it will be on youtube and hopefully it will go well so yeah so this is like mainly about information like divinations, like crystal balls, tarot cards and it mentions about like runes and then candle wick. I used to do this when I was a kid and I always believe that will predict what your future will be, what you want to do in your career. Have you seen the Simpsons episode when you see Lisa and her friends dip the candle in the, in the water and they said that's what you will do as a career? that makes complete sense to me so yeah i do recommend getting witch casket boxes because you can get cool stuff like a, a magical book you can get incense you can get you know crystals you can get rituals even jars and oh the list will go on guys because they do it every time they do it so successful so i do recommend getting the witch casket boxes so yep, so this one I got it from the works when I were having a bad time once with one of my ex-friends who's not my friends any uh, my friend anymore um, I saw this straight away and I thought you know what this is calling to me I'm going to purchase this and I have used it and it has helped I've only used some of the spells in there but if you want me to do a protection spell for you let me know in the comments um, because I think there's loads of different types of protection <laughs> like moving on for example um, or a protection incense um, but when I saw this I just turned it over and it says oh, banish bad energy and protect your power that when I saw this I thought I've got to purchase this 
and it was worth seven quid went down to three quid so you know I recommend the works if you're in the UK I recommend the works because they have good variety of witchcraft books even waterstones but waterstones are very expensive Amazon a good place to go as well but yeah um so this one I think I got given from my ma I think and yeah and it's about meditation so I do a lot of meditation I do a lot if you want me to do how I meditate let me know in the comments I will do that it's like I've got loads of ideas guys but I don't know what would like audience like to see because I'm trying to make this channel very exclusive for people who are starting out in this religion or one like you know someone who is breaking everything down for them and then they're like hmm this could be my calling because in my latest my very latest video I did about my journey how I became a pagan and I knew I were this like I said I've been like this a pagan for 17 years and it's been the best thing for me I just wish I found it sooner so this is why I've got a YouTube channel so in case you want to find your path you want to find your calling this is why I'm starting YouTube this is why I started it and to help others fill out what their journey is calling to them so this is why I'm on YouTube so anyway back to meditation so meditation is a good book this is it breaks everything down like from anxiety to like healthy brain structure pain relief reduction group meditation you can do yoga even mentions about yoga breathing techniques which i have asthma so that will be good for me and anyone else who's asthmatic and if you want me to like follow this the breathing techniques i will do it in another video or i will do it on my tiktok which i will leave everything on my tiktok and my instagram in the descriptions below i'm hopefully starting podcasts soon again so i'm going to try and make some more homemade monologues because i used to do performing arts um, so I'm going to make some monologues and then put them on the podcast so in case of meditation you will hear my voice keeping calm and you know help people who are meditation so I love to do stuff more like this so I do recommend this book so I'm glad I got this given from my ma shout out to my ma so this one i saw this on the works and it went down to it was 7.99 it went down to three quid and i thought you know what i'm gonna get it and it looks funny because <laughs> yeah um it's meditation but it's about when you have farts so i need in this so like it's funny it keeps me calm and when i'm having a bad day i just grab this read this and then i'll just start chuckling so um so yeah this is mainly about humor not about witchcraft so if you want to laugh and this is only my witchcraft stuff because it looks like it's, he's meditating so yeah but i might not keep this i might give do a giveaway if you want me to give this away i will do so yeah um that's that one so for these books here what i've got these came together and i have three book volumes of this so volume one is the crystal bible so this is volume one so it gives you explanations about crystals and then what's the source of and that's really good i like that and um, it has been damaged but i still i'm still going to use it because i love crystals and i need to practice more about crystals so i recommend this book so i do recommend this um it came in three volumes so this is volume one and then this is volume two and then volume three so it comes in three volumes i think they're going to do a fourth one i don't know yet but if they do <laughs> i've got some strong weights i'll do but yeah um i do recommend these for you if you're a beginner and you want to start out looking out for crystals and you want to know the meanings and on that 
so I do recommend these books and yeah they're really good and they're worth the prices and they both cost me 14 99 each yeah <laughs> a lot but worth it guys full and worth it right guys we are on the second shelf so <sighs> so this one I got in a box with um, oracle cards but a lot of oracle cards <laughs> so um and it came with a necklace and my necklace is downstairs cleansing because I, I always cleanse my necklace before I go back to work and so this is good for beginners um so if you're starting out at Wiccan like I said I do a lot about paganism and Wiccan um so I do recommend this book if you're starting out I love it so much and I have been reading a lot about it like chakras, dreams, astral projection and even got a little bit of spells guys so yeah and I love it I do recommend this full on so yeah and that cost me about I think a fiver so why not um so for my other book this was a part of um a palm tree hand and this came with the hammer hand for you all or you can have it on your desk or altar or anywhere you want to worship and this is the palm tree um short guide so it's tiny it's like the tiniest book i've got um so yeah and i'm gonna start doing palm reading and palm lines again and if i do i will let you guys know and practice on me my partner and anyone who's around me but yeah I'm gonna start doing this again and I just love it and I will show you one of my pages yeah it's lovely it's so small but I just wish I had my glasses <laughs> but yeah I just love it so I do recommend starting palm street if you're into palm street so this book I have is the um, moon spells which this is like like full moon spells beginning a new life spell book so like I said, I do have like a couple of spell books. So like I said, if you want me to do a spell of the day on YouTube and TikTok, let me know. So this is all about that. And it mentions about like creating and walking a moon circle, which I like. I do recommend this. And what I like is it got its own checklist as well. It's so cute. I like that. So I do recommend this guys if you're starting out as well. Um this cost me about I think four, five or four quid. So I do recommend this. Um it's how to use the phases of the moon and get what you want. So yeah, which hopefully start my teaching degree. So yeah, I do recommend that. So this book, it's a spell one as well, but it's just, it mentions about the elements as well. So this is for books of spells, positive enchantments and enchant your life. I got this given and I absolutely love it. I have been using some of the spells I have in this. So like, for example, if you want me to do a good luck spell, I will tell you different types of spells I have. And then, yeah, I just, I love it and I am gonna hopefully start back doing spell works when everything gets done um, because as you notice my desk, uh, not my desk, my shelving and my desk is not done yet so I do want to do more spell work so I'm happy to keep this so yeah that's my spell book um, I've got that one so this book here I'm just looking at now uh, she is my role model I love her to bits and I hope we can be friends and I got this given from Mama and I told her I might be a pagan or a Wiccan I don't know but yeah and when she's like Wiccan right okay I'm gonna get you this book and I watched this woman on YouTube and um, she doesn't do it anymore and her name is Harmony Nice and I love her book I love it so much it is a bit damaged i'll be honest with you it's because i have been reading this non-stop love it cannot put it down and 
I full on recommend this for baby witches and practicing witches if you start now. I do recommend this not just because of like the rose gold filing, it's so on point, so accurate. It's like it explains about what is Wiccan and then like what is paganism as well, which I like. She's broke it down and that's what I love. And she's just so talented and I just hope that we come friends because she is one of the people who brought me into this kind of religion who brought me in to be myself and I can you not guys she is my inspiration for being this person and don't be ashamed about being a pagan it's like she is a Wiccan but I'm a pagan but I'm looking like which one what kind of one but yeah if you haven't purchased it yet, guys please purchase it she's phenomenal uh, but yeah, worth the money, £12.99, worth the money guys, I full and recommend her. So for this one I got given and this is a dreams and it helps you to unlock the meaning of your dreams. Me, I do have dreams a lot um, and not just that, I've been having like daydreams as well. So this is a good book to start out with I would say. So it's like, for example, if I look on to like, it says mother and father shortly, <laughs> um, it means that you're dreaming about a mother figure in the face of material and naming and desire to protect the young. So it's so, so good. I have had read, I've had read this for a little bit, but you know, I just love it and I do recommend this. This book here is my other smallest one. This is when I thought I were a green witch. Um, so this is the green witch, wick, I'm sorry, the green wiccan spell book. And it's the complete of magical knowledge. Um, if you can't see, there you go. I love this so much and this cost me 7 99 at the works and it has like discover and adapt the spells you personally use how to write your own as well so that would be good experience rituals and witchy meditations enchant in your practice of witchcraft so that's a mouthful but still though guys if you want to like cast a spell it will give you instructions about like casting spells um i'm just trying to show you something else like make a decision it will help with that as well so i do recommend this book it's so lovely and it's so colorful as well it reminds me of the spells and um, peace of mind book so it's like i think it's like the same author i don't know no it's not i think it's not no it is the same book company decorations but yeah it's so lovely it's so small it's good to put in your bag so i recommend this as well I got this from a crystal shop and it cost me about, I would say, £15.99. <laughs> um, the shop's not there anymore, it's going closed down. But um, this book I love. Um, I did have a, um, a dream book, but it went missing when I was at college for some reason. So I got this one and I love it so much. And I have been using this and it has been useful, it has been great. It's just now I just need a dream book about numbers because I'm dreaming about numbers and I've been having this dream for about constantly about 11 to 12 years I've been having this, these same numbers constantly and but yeah I do recommend if you want me to tell you what kind of dream you've been having let me know I will try and give you an explanation so I do like this book, I do recommend dream exploration books and it'd be good to log in your book of shadows as well. So yeah guys, so that's good. So I got this book here from the works and this cost me $16.99 and for witches journal, charms, spells, potions and enchantments and this is it and it gives me vibes of like the green wiccan and the piece the spell and peace of mind book 
but it's like it mentions about what is Aphrone and like what kind of other salads they use or daggers, candles and so like symbols. So it's like even mentions about Greek and Roman deities as well. Egyptian deities which I love everything to do with Egypt thanks to my brother. Shout out to Kieran who brought me into this and I love Greek mythology as well when I was a kid. I like to call my daughter like Athena or Annabeth, like them kind of names. <laughs> so yeah, it even mentions about like the uh, early days like a Wiccan read and uh, it mentions about the free lot, the law of three. So I do love it and I do recommend this for people who are starting out. Like, I do get told though this is not a good book to read but me, I just take the important information, not the long ones. So I do take good information. But yeah, it mentions about spell casting as well. So I just, I love this one. So yeah. So this one is the Green Witch Guide to Complete um, Natural Magic Herbs, Flowers, Essential Oils and more. It has been a bit damaged, you can tell. It's because I have been ruining it and taking notes of stuff. And yeah. Um, Pretty much, um, I I'm like this with this book because it's like the same with the house witch. It's very, you need this, you need that, you need this to do this. Um, it doesn't explain like green witches are known for this. Um, we could recommend you to um, um, if you do want to start out here, it's like an Amazon link or you know or grow your own herbs like you know but it's like you need to follow this you need to follow that so it's like a straightforward book but me i like a book what's like a diy book do it yourself -er. and not just that you could like there could be like facebook groups or apps you can join you know for like beginners as well that's why i'm on youtube teaching you guys so yeah that's this book i'm like this with that so like i said i might get rid of these ones because I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So this book here, it's like, I think it's like the same makers. Yeah, it's the same authors um, of my crystal Bibles. And this is Jude Hall. And this is about the astrology, the guide to Zodiac. So I'm Aquarius. So straight away, no, I'm not kidding you. <clears throat> I am not kidding you. I just did that. Um, so my ruler is Saturn. My neutral house is eleventh, and then my element is air. And apparently I'm positive. And then I fall into Neptune. And then the passion, in the like, um, planet is the sun as well. And then the keywords are like I'm um, positive, generous. Um, humanity and then it's like personal models and then it's like mentions about minds, emotional strengths, weaknesses, shadows karma, likes, dislikes so in a way it's like it says here dislikes um, rules and also it says here routines which is not true, I do like routines but if it's housework then <laughs> and then last week fashion me uh, that is a bit true but I do like bargains and it just mentions about change and next year fashion and money, career, children, part partners and then yeah and the day is Saturday season yeah I know it's winter but yeah it mentions about all the bow signs and the zodiacs so I do recommend this so yeah, and this cost me fourteen ninety nine from the works. Yikes! <laughs> so, so this book I got my eye on. Eye on. <laughs> Everyday magic ritual spells potions to live your best life. So I have read this a bit, so this is like a guidebook for beginners, how to use the book it tells you as well. 
like it tells you about like the full moon, for a Virgo, a Libra, a Leo, Lena go on. Like I think there's a full moon tonight um, and over here and it's like it gives you like spells, astrology and also information about it which I like. I'm going to start reading this more because I like how decorated it is. I do like it. I do like the feeling of it. It's like it's a lumpy bumpy. I don't know if you can see but I just love the feeling of that guys. So I do like this book so much. Um, is it worth the money? Definitely definitely worth the money so yeah that's the book what i've got my only on to read so pretty much so i got this from also friendly dragon and this is the witch's bible the complete witch's handbook and um, i cannot show you um some of the pictures because it is a bit um for the faint hearted because i'm trying to make this channel very exclusive so i want to show you but I will try and find a picture of what is okay to show. Um, so this, like, it mentions, like, closing a ritual. And then it mentions about, like, banishing as well. So I do recommend this if you are higher up of age. And um, it mentions about the Sabbath, the casting of banishing in circle spells. It mentions even like a book of shadow work as well. Um, it also mentions about spells, tools, and witchcraft, and even running a coven and actual projection, guys, as well. And I'm starting to learn that even more. So I do recommend this completely if you are needing a handbook. Um, so yeah, pretty much. <sighs> it's gonna be a long while, but yeah, I recommend this. So this book here, it's mainly about chakras and how to use like yoga techniques to open them chakras or to help you loosen up. Um, so this is this book here, I got it from the works, it cost me $12.99 and you know it mentions about like the heart diet for the chakras which it mentions about teas as well. So I am hopefully going to do a tea series. Um, about like what um, kinds of teas will help this, will this help that and see what the results are um, and they also mentions about what kind of sounds and also crystals as well for example so yeah I do recommend this completely guys it's such a good book and um, I am gonna try and get some more sticky notes and sticky note all this as well like my Wiccan every day living book so yeah guys i do recommend this if you're starting out because it's just a good book to follow so yeah guys i do recommend this this book here i got recommended by a fake friend and then when i got it and then i read it and what happened afterwards i got a kitten um and what happened afterwards my kitten like to play with it for some reason i don't know why she did that but yeah it's this is such a good book if you are new and you want to follow if you want to start out i do recommend the witch witch not the witch sorry witch and it's so good because it mentions about like oracle cards and then casting circles creating altars so like for example if you're starting out on an altar and you're making an altar this be good and also Pinterest would be good as well for ideas and um, I did have an altar but now I'm going to decide again altar shelving instead of an altar table and it will make it more organized so yeah guys that's what I've got here and it's so good it mentions about different types of witches so yeah it's just so good and it mentions about book of shadows briefly so yeah I do recommend this guys so yeah for this book here it's for inner beauty bible and I, I love it so much it mentions about crystals and um, like about how you like your bath it's like me suddenly i've got a shower suddenly but yeah it mentions about like how to cleanse and uh, night rituals it's just such a good book to follow guys i love it so much and it mentions about morning routines if you want me to follow this like a morning routine let me know in the comments and um, 
but yeah it's mainly like rituals and inner beauty to help you feel more beautiful in yourself and to love yourself so yeah very much so this book here i got given and from my ma and it mentions about crystals information how to recharge them about chakras as well so i like this book because it mentions about different meanings of the book of shadow not book of shadows crystal work and um, it's making me more like oh i didn't know about this i need to put it in my book of shadows oh need to make a note of that so it's helping me through everything like i will say one of the crystals and try find one so it mentions like um moonstone it's good for pregnancy and yeah pretty much it just helps so much um it's just a good explanation it's like so if you feel negative um like feeling bad like bad breathing it's like sunstone that's good for breathing um so yeah and it mentions like the chakras like i mentioned it's just a so good book and i'm so grateful she got me it so yeah so this book here it's the same authors of the house witch and the green witch which is the witch's book of self-care so it's mainly like magical ways to pampers move and care for your body and spirit i'm like yeah i could follow that i could dig that um if you want me to start doing this like it mentions about meditation teas it even mentions about meditation incense so if you want me to start doing that let me know in the comments because like i said i've got so many ideas but i don't know what one to go for so i'll rather let my target audience go for it so yeah that's what i have for this one um i'm like this with it like i said i might not keep these i might give them away um so yeah that's this book here so that's that one so for my other one i've got sp spells of mindfulness and i have read a bit of this and like i said this is me like spell work and i have been doing a bit of this it's like i'm gonna start doing more spell work it's like this one here it says to focus your love interest and it's like methods and then instructions what you need to use and it's just it's so good and it's so interesting like it got like sleep well and it's like so good if you want me to do with spells from this book let me know in the comments so that's that one and then I got this book here, which is a lunar living, working with the magic from the moon cycle, which I like the color blue. It's like a blue purple color. So yeah, it mentions about like empower the big decisions, um, improve your sleep and mindset and relationships and other tunings of natural cycles. And it's just a, such a good book. So, um, it does help me a little bit i've finally read this i will say i'm gonna start reading more because i thought if i start reading more i will open my mind more and it will encourage me to do more stuff like this for you guys and for myself but yeah it's it's such a good book it's just i love it and it's like key information the sun rules um i for leo um but yeah i do like this book I do recommend this and um, this cost me about 10 quid from the works so yeah um full on recommend this I do so this book here is the Wiccan Bible which it's like similar to the um, Wiccan Everyday Living book but it's like a smaller version and it's like the guide of magic and the craft so this is a bestseller series apparently and it mentions about like the elements and like i said it's just exactly like this book here it's just smaller 
so that in case you are traveling and you don't want to have if you don't have much room and you just want like a small book i do recommend this one if you want a small book to travel in so yeah i do recommend that so yeah So my last book and not least is the Spells Bible book and this is also a bestseller as well series. So this is mainly spell work as well. So in a way it gives you a theme that I'm trying to get back to spell work. Um, but you know it mentions about holidays, guides, and rituals, mainly spells, tarot spells. Which I don't have tarot cards, which I'm going to try and get some hopefully if I can. Um, but yeah, it mentions about holidays like Yule and then spell casting for like Yule. It's just, it's so good, guys. Like I said, this book is good for like spell casting. And if you do, if you do want to have a book of shadows and you want to jot down every spell you have done and if it works, this book is your friend. This book will help a lot. So, yep, that's that book. So I recommend that. So yeah, guys, um, this book here is about every day of paganism. Um, well, not every day, everything about paganism. And I just full and recommend this. And I love this book so much. And if you want to know about neo paganism, paganism about the Celtic way, and all information like the history and the advice you can give an explanation about protection of your beliefs festivals and celebrations i do recommend this i am hopefully going to try and find the witchcraft one and the spells enchantment one this cost me about 10 pound and i got this from friendly dragon so yeah guys that is that okay so yeah guys that is all of my book collection i have so i am so grateful to show you guys what i have and if you are interested in purchasing any of them books feel free to you um go ahead and i fully recommend what i say i recommend um so yeah guys i am just so grateful that we have reached 92 subscribers we have had a good journey and i'm going to carry on doing with this journey to make you guys happy and make myself happy what i love and to do like i said i'm going to hopefully do a series of teaching you guys about like the craft mainly only the craft if you just want to follow that or the paganism or even the wiccan way so i will break everything down i will start that hopefully so yeah pretty much guys um so if you don't know, I am on Green Room by Spotify. And if you don't know how it is, what it is and how it works. So the Green Room Spotify is a group of podcasters. I myself. And if you want to talk to me and hopefully I will get more people involved. If you want to just know about the craft or know about paganism and Wiccan. If you don't want to hear it on YouTube or TikTok. If you just want to speak to me directly you could do and i will leave all my descriptions below so yeah i'm on the green room by spotify so i do that i'm hopefully going to come back doing that i'm doing meditation podcasts hopefully do more videos like this um so yeah i am on patreon as well so hopefully i will get more fans on there as well so i do do um, offers so like if you want me to teach you on your own I do like want to like teach you and then if you like my information if you want it printed enough and I will send it to you guys and that's five pound a month um so yeah um I am going to start doing that first to see if I do get any you know unique people who want to start out but yeah guys please don't forget to like this video and more videos to come and please subscribe because uh, like i said i'm hopefully gonna come back tuesdays and saturdays if not saturdays i will make saturdays like a religion 
day to teach anyone who wants to teach privately or in a group whatever makes you comfortable and if you don't want to facetime we can talk just message each other and i'll send it to you guys but yeah guys i will let you yourself follow your dreams follow what you love and what you're passionate about and thank you for watching and stay tuned for more and bless it me